The cylinder and power piston of a Stirling engine is one of the most critical components of the engine. In many designs, for ease of construction, it is substituted by a balloon. However, I think it is much nicer to see in action a real piston and cylinder instead of a piece of balloon. So in this video, I will show you a method to build your own power piston and cylinder. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. We need the following, a glass test tube, you can use different diameters depending on what you need. I will use this 20 millimeter diameter. This will be for the cylinder and the piston will be made with epoxy putty. You can use the normal type or the metallic type. Both of them work. You also need some paper clips and a little bit of oil. I will cut the test tube at 45 millimeters, which is the length that I need for the motor that I will build. But again, the length and diameter of the cylinder depends on the particular motor that you will build. In order to cut the test tube, I will follow the procedure that I showed you in a previous video. In the description of this video, I give you the link. The procedure is simple. Once you mix your epoxy putty, you will introduce it in the test tube and then press with an object of a diameter slightly less than that of the test tube and press like this. And in order to avoid the epoxy putty from sticking to the tube, you need to put some oil inside the tube and in the surface. You need a flat surface like a piece of plexiglass or a mirror, something that is very flat.
Now we must let it cure for at least an hour before taking out the piston. You have to be careful when taking out the piston or the glass will break and you have to start all over again. The piston fits too tight on the test tube. Before you can use it, you need to sand it with fine sandpaper, grid 400 to 600. Do not apply too much pressure and check from time to time if the piston enters easily on the test tube. The test tubes are not perfectly circular, so there is a position where the piston enters more easily than in other positions. Here it is almost ready. After a couple of minutes of sanding, it is ready. Finally, for the connecting rod, you need to make these two pieces out of wire and drill two holes in the piston. And you will fix it with epoxy glue or cyanoacrylate. Finally, our system of piston and cylinder is ready for work.
Ok, that's all for today. In a forthcoming video, I will show you how to make a Stirling engine using this piston and cylinder. Hope you liked the video. If you want to help me, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks and see you in the next video.